So in this video, we're going to look at the situation where we have the solution to a regular graph, and we know how to find the path or the circuit, and we want to take that solution and extend it to a multigraph. And that just means that if we start out with some graph like this right here, going from A to B to C, and we know we have a path, how will this change over time to form a multigraph and still have a path or a circuit? And I like this question because uh, even though graphs are static, they just sit there and we solve them. Life and roads and paths and edges are always changing. So we should be able to think and plan about how we want to change our graph to fit a certain path or a certain circuit. And we want to make some plans for doing that. So really the key idea or the key thing you want to think about is the type of degree on a vertice. So in other words, is it an odd or even? degree because we want to preserve that um, to retain the fact that the graph is going to be a path or a circuit because if we start messing too much with the types of degrees of, of the vertices we change the nature of a graph and it might help all right it might actually turn the graph from a path to a circuit but we just need to be aware of the type of degrees so so one good rule of thumb is that if we add pairs of edges as we expand this graph to a multigraph will preserve the type of degree on each on each vertice. So here A is odd and it's the degree is one. B is even and C is odd, right? The degree is one again and the degree here is two. So if we add pairs of edges, what will happen? Well let's add a pair between A and B. Oops. If I had a pair of edges between A and B, there's one and two. And then if I had another pair between C and B now what has happened? Well, now the degree of A is odd again, B is even, now the degree is 6, and C is odd. However, we still have this, a similar path. It's still a path circuit, right? A to B to C, back again, and then following the last edge, we go to C. So we can actually still form a path on, on, this, on this solution, on this graph. Now this is a multigraph, so one thing if you want to extend the graph, to a multigraph is to add pairs of vertices and that will preserve the type of degree. So one technique we'll put here is to add pairs of edges. And there are other things to think about though. It doesn't quite we're not quite done with that idea right there. Because there are more options. If you want to extend a graph, you don't have to just add pairs. What you could do is form a circuit. So here we have A, B, and C. Let's put C, I don't know, up here. And if we know we have a path to go from A to B and B to C, we can turn this into a circuit. And how can we do that? Well, let's try to do that by making a multigraph. So one way to do it would be to draw an edge from C to A, and that would form a circuit. But we want to look at multigraph solutions. Um, so what I'm going to do is add another set of edges from A to B, another edge, excuse me, from A to B, and another edge from B to C. And what I really did was allow this path to become a circuit. And this is a multigraph because if you remember, a multigraph is just when you have more than one edge going between a, a vertice and one other vertice. So here we have two edges. There's no reason to have that. It's an extra edge. Um, they were already connected by an edge. And the same for B and C. They were already connected by an edge. We're just adding more in. So we've created a multigraph and we've also created a circuit. And really what we did there is we took the degrees of the vertices, which was A was odd and B was even, and C was odd, and we turned them into all even degreed vertices, right? The degree of A is what? It's 2. The degree of B is that's, that's 4. It's also even. And the degree of C is also even. So another way to build up a graph or a multigraph to, to still have a way to find a path or solution is to turn it into a circuit. So you can do that by changing all degrees to even degrees. So if you, if you find a way to connect the vertices so that the degree of every vertice is even, you can form a circuit. It's not guaranteed there might be some isolated ver vertices or, or separate paths, right? You want it to be connected still. Uh, but by doing that, you allow yourself to create 
a circuit. And there's another way to look at this. Um, just one more thing. So let's say we have um, a path from A to B, and then a disconnected path from C to D. So here's one path, here's another, and we want to form a multigraph that still allows us to find either a path or a circuit. So what we could do then is connect the vertices with a pair of edges, or in this case just one edge. One edge here would have allowed us to create a complete path from A to B to C to D, and a pair of edges here allows us to actually form a circuit. So a third way of extending a regular graph solution to a multigraph solution is to connect disconnected graphs, which is another thing to think about. So as you expand your multigraph out um, to include others, right, if we had just started with A and B, for example, if we just started with A and B, and we want to extend it to a multigraph, so you can, you can basically extend this by creating a pair of edges and then connecting that to a separate graph or path. So C and D were already there, but even if they weren't, right, we can extend the solution to A and B to include this, this path by basically connecting this original pair of vertices and edge to a non-existing graph. So we create a new graph, that's C to D, and then connect it with a pair of edges. If we, just keep, we can keep doing that over and over and over and over again to extend the graph. So just some things to think about how to connect your solution that you already have to expand it to fit maybe a more diverse model or more complicated road system. All right, thanks.